Hello everyone, Hyde here, and I welcome you to another video to update you all on the progress we've made so far on our V4 Moab brackets. Here we have the pre-production prototypes, and they have been waiting here for well over a month, unfortunately due to my personal commitments and other projects, and with my big move going back to Germany, I was not able to update much on these, but we're here now. And we will be going through a complete overview of what we have and what we'll be including as well as a brief installation video with both the SC14 and the AMR500. So let's get started. Now if you all remember we originally started off in our last video with these little nicely handcrafted with a lot of precision prototypes and a lot of these were made discarded and eventually when we decided upon the final designs we forwarded them to our CAD team to eventually go into the production house and come up with something like this mild steel nicely powder coated in gunmetal black Pre-production, Hyde Motorworks, Motherfall Brackets, V4 Prototypes. And here we have the bracket for the SC14. Now let me briefly open up uh, some of these manifolds that we'll also include in these kits. Now I believe this to be the manifold for the AMR 500 obviously because of their size. Now we have something like this. I believe this is about 2 inches. That's the largest we could find and obviously we couldn't really fit anything larger here due to our space restrictions but as you can see these are meant to go in just like this and you're meant to bolt them on and every time you do grab one of these kits they would come with their very own little uh, set of nuts and bolts which you can use and voila, these would be your inlet and outlet manifolds. As you can see, these will be the manifolds that will be used for the AMR500, just to give you an idea. And of course we have the manifolds for the SC14 and they would be going on as usual. And obviously on top of all of that, for the M44 and M42 engines, we have some custom made dummy throttle bodies and I'll be showing you very soon on the installation video where these are meant to go in and then the throttle body is relocated to the front of the supercharger. As you can see these are meant to fit something around two and a half inches pipes or 65 millimeters now we'll have quite a lot of other small pieces but the main point of these designs was to ensure that we are able to mount a blower as fast as possible as smoothly as possible as well as keeping the whole concept of simplicity alive these are the top mount brackets as we had designed earlier 
they come in just around five millimeters i believe some of you may still remember this obviously this was the bottom mount bracket that we had made originally a lot of things have been altered obviously from this as well just to make it that much more cleaner this bracket in its own right sits at about 10 millimeters and this is meant to be mounted just around the alternator one here one here it clears the alternator and then we have these spacers that will be going on top as so in the next final iteration however we'll be making the spacers one whole 10 millimeters instead of currently them being five millimeters each and then we have obviously the final mount for the sc14 which goes on top and obviously we require some reverse threaded nuts and of course to space out our tensioner pulley we will be requiring these I'd like to show you some more about these spaces that we include now you must pay close attention because some of them are of different sizes per se here we have some that are four and a half however here we have the smaller ones and these are very important I'll tell you why soon these are only three millimeters opposed to the rest of them now the right quantities and everything will be included in each and every kit this is also a spacer which is meant to attach the top bracket to your engine manifold to add more support to the AMR or the SC14 over there now we shall be going through a brief installation video and I'll show you the main key points of course these 3mm ones we have a 3mm here and a 5 here as you can see the difference the 3 millimeters are actually used to space out the bracket slightly between the alternator. Basically you're just adding some space between the alternator and the whole mounting mechanism of the supercharger. So everything has been accounted for, all the measurements, everything taken into place. So it's a smooth installation, you don't have to bother with any kinds of alignments with the belt and all that. So, let's move on over there and we shall do an installation. 